Hi guys, how you going? Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, welcome. Um, another day in uh, lockdown in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, it's actually Father's Day of all days. So uh, happy fa Father's Day to everyone out there across the world. Um, so yeah, so again, in lockdown, so not much to do, can't leave the house. Um, can't have the kids over, the older kids and so forth that have left the nest, so uh, yeah. Not much to do, so I thought I'd uh, take up where I left off last week and finish my edging. So um, I actually didn't do a uh, video on the uh, edging I did down the side here, because uh, it was all just sort of you know, pretty straight, straight, basically straightforward. So um, I thought I'd do one today. The wife actually wants a circular edge around this, which is quite, kind of a little bit more challenging. So I'm doing it with flavors um, and just a mortar mix. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to basically take out all of those flowers, do a circle, um, dig it out and I'll show you how, how I do it all. Um, yeah, it's relatively straightforward. The circle's a bit of a challenge, so I'll say, show you how I do that. And yeah, uh, let's get started. Alright guys, so one way to get rid of the flowers, <laughs> which one is my one? bulbs anyway but uh, we're going to dig them out um, mark the circle uh, and then do the papers and dig it out so I've got my son Logan here he's just popped out he wants to hop on the computer so we're going to help me dig it out first I think and then he can hop on all right next step all right so what we're going to do now is just mark out the circle again just a string line and a can of spray paint whatever spray paint this is the, the marking spray paint a bit of pink so, work out size. So just tie this loosely around the tree. Make sure it's nice and loose. Give her a bit of a shake. And then let's work out the size. So, we're going to say, let's say it there. There you get a perfect circle. It's nice and easy. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll get the pavers and we'll line them up around it, get the wipe out, sign them off, make sure she's happy with the size of the circle, and then we'll start uh, excavating. Alright, let's unload the car load. So the wife's come out and it's too big. So we need to downsize it now and move it to the inner circle. And then we'll get sign off again. Alright, so the wife signed it off. All good. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do, so that basically the inside of that circle that was created, we're going to dig it all out. Um, take the bulbs out. The wife doesn't want the bulbs to hold them more. Yeah. Then show you the next steps. Lucky I've got my trusty helper Logan to help me. Alright, so I've got my Chinese work boots on, my trusty shovel. Let's get started. Very important because what we're going to do is recreate this circle on a flat surface later on. 
and then basically we're going to then work out the diagonals for these cuts, the angles we need to cut them to get a perfect circle. Okay? So remember that measurement. So we're going to halve it and I'll show you the next steps. So let's get this out first. Alright guys, this next step, find yourself a flat area. Get yourself a masonry nail. Now, um, I'm actually nailing it this concrete here. <laughs> this is going to be covered with paper so I'm not worried. Now, the diameter was 160. So therefore it's with a radius of half of that, which is 180. So we've marked that. Yeah. So we will mark in the concrete here. Okay. We're going to get ourselves a piece of string. Tie it to your texture. Pencil, whatever you want. Okay. And now, if we're lucky, you have to maintain the, the right amount of tension on this. Hope we get all the way around. We meet back in the same spot. I was hoping to have to sharpen this one. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Hopefully, our perfect circle. Now, if you want to check it. Four points. Yep. Looking good. Some slight variation. So that's good. Alright. Let's go get the pavers. So this circle is now exactly the same size as that circle. So let's lay the pavers out because we've now got to cut them. Right, so now we've got a perfect line. We can lay the outside edge of the pager corner to corner. Alright. Now, looking at that, some people might actually be happy with those little gaps, but I'm kind of not. <laughs> so, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to basically work out what the angle is to cut them all. It's really simple. Um, you should mark, basically work out one angle. That's the same angle for the rest. And then just make up a template. So, uh, yeah, next step. Now, as I was laying out these pavers, I knocked my little nail out of the center. I'm going to put that back. Alright. So, let's get our trusty piece of string. Put it on the center. Let's uh, sharpen the pencil. Alright guys, so where the nail is, grab a piece of string and make a little cardboard template, same size as the brick. Okay, pop it on top. Stretch this out to the top corner of the brick. And then, draw a line. Same for the other side. Alright, so it's a little template. We'll cut these sides off, and that's where you'll mark the lines to cut every paver. Exactly the same, nice and easy. Alright, guys, we've got our paver. We've got our little template. Line it up on the straight edge, corner to corner. Okay, now all the pavers aren't going to be perfectly the same, so don't stress about it. And then get something to score a mark on the paver.
don't mark it from underneath. These pavers have actually got beveled edges, so it's a bit more tougher. You only get a small bit of the mark. Just there and there, but that's enough. It's only a very short cut. Alright, nice surface. Cut away. This is a sacrificial piece of stone. Few of these, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, I've had a few now. Let's um, see what it looks like. So, we're going to do is line these outside edges with the circumference of the circle. So you'll find you're going to probably need uh, an extra paper <laughs> than when you first started to just tighten things up a bit. Alright, let's cut the last uh, three pavers. Alright guys, here's the last three. It turns out we have a, a small little gap here, so I just cut a little one. Okay, pop that in, and there you go. Now, if you don't return back to the same place, you know something's gone wrong. But uh, yeah, I think that's come up pretty good. I'll give you a closer look. So again, some of the cuts aren't perfect. And again, you can take the time if you like to go and just find the cuts up a little bit and match them all up, but I'm pretty happy with that. That's looking pretty good to me. As long as the wife's happy, I'm happy. So. Now you see also, I've cut, when I've cut these papers, I've cut them on a little bit of an angle. Some more than others, and that's just so that the bottoms don't stop the top from meeting each other. So all of them have got a little bit of an angle, and that's not going to matter because that's going to be below the level of the grass. And again, you can see it better with this one as well. So yeah, there you go. Just used a grinder. <laughs> So the wife's laughing at me. I don't know what for. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's an alien or is it my husband? You can hear a cackling in the background. <laughs> Guess I better go wash my face. Safety mask is good for the rocks, but uh, the dust not so good. Alright, <coughs> I'll be back. Alright guys, so before I sign off for the day, because it's starting to rain. So again, this is the grinder, big nine inch grinder that I used to cut it with the stone cutting wheel. 
again makes it nice and simple again i buy these these last forever um so it always comes in really handy um i don't actually have a review on this ryobi um this is the eag 2023rg but um it is great fantastic i had a little cheapy which lasted a while got rid of it um really really happy with this um yeah fantastic what can i say so it rotates 180 degrees anyway nice and simple you can use a, a little four inch grinder as well um whatever you got handy but just with a stone cutting wheel um diamond cut wheel all right i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> uh, and i'll take you through the next bit or should i say i'll see you in a few seconds All right, guys, here we are again, back with the next step. All right, so we've got the circle. Beautiful, it's kind of really nice. Nice and easily cut with just that single one angle. Now we have to transfer this circle across to the Weeping Cherry. And that's a challenge, all right? So what I've come up with is, we need just this ordinary plastic garden edging, okay? This is actually 150 mil. Again, you can buy it in rolls of about 10 meters. It's pretty cheap and inexpensive. Now, what we're gonna do with this roll is actually form the inner circle, okay? Because we need to basically transfer this circle over there, because as you start laying the bricks, it could potentially go out of the whack. So you need a guide, okay? So what I've done is I've laid this out in the internal, okay? And um, I've just joined it together with some tape, gaffer tape and then some cable ties, okay? Ultimately, this is just to transfer the circle across. Uh, once it's all cemented in place, you can rip it out if you want, but we're just gonna leave it there. Um, and yeah, so you'll see how important it is, especially with getting all the levels right too, because that'll be another challenge. All right, so I'll give you a bit of a close up. All right, so you can see it's all perfectly laid out. So what I've done here, is we've got the cable ties. So we just drilled in four holes. Okay, cable tied it all together. And then you can see, it just sits perfectly around that inner edge. I've just got those pavers inside in the middle just to hold its sort of shape. Now that's been actually sitting there for a few days. <laughs> um, so whilst I'm doing other things like living life and working. All right, so now, we're gonna grab that and now transfer that across to the circle. All right, and we'll look at the next challenges. All right, guys, so as you can see, my wife's beautiful weeping cherries in full bloom. <laughs> now, we have this circle, all right? The smart thing would be to not cable tie it over there, <laughs> put it around and cable tie it here. But I cable tied it. And I'm lazy, I'm not gonna take them off. So what I'm gonna do is grab this circle now and actually just throw it over the top. Don't tell the wife though, because I'm gonna probably lose a few flowers. <laughs> let's, let's see if this works. How's that? I didn't lose too many flowers. All right guys, so getting this round <laughs> circumference or this round circle is proving to be quite challenging. Um, again, I tried a bit of string line around it to just line it all up and make sure it all worked. And that didn't work. Okay. Obviously that center trunk. Um, and this is, the, this is the joys of working and doing this after the fact. That center trunk is not round, it's all over the place. So I need something round as a reference point. So what I've done, so I've made this little template, which is gonna go around the trunk. It's gonna go into the ground. It's gonna be leveled off on all four sides and give us a really good starting point to work out, um, to put the circle in exactly the right place, okay? Now the question is, how do I get this around there? It's been designed to uh, pull apart basically, okay? Um, I'll show it to you in a bit more detail now and then we'll get started. All right guys, so I'll show you how this little jig template actually works so obviously the tree isn't round you can put a string line around it but the circumference changes all the time when you pull the string line all the way around 
Um, so I've made this template. It's got the perfect circle, right? And again, if you want to see the construction of it, I might do a simple video. I think you can basically work it out from when I show it to you in a bit more detail. Okay, so what's going to happen is we've got this, which is the, the radius from the center here, or should I say from the ring here to the outer edge. I've got a bit of dowel and a bit of dowel, okay? And then what's going to happen is this is actually going to go into the ground over there the other way around. Um, the long bolts I've got in there are going to go into the ground lock pegs. We'll push it all the way in, get it nice and level, okay? And then um, I'll show you how this works. Okay, so what I've done, again, as long as you get the measurement correct from there to there, that is the distance from the inside here to inside here, you pop that on here, okay? Perfectly lines up. Pop that here, lines up. Here, lines up. So you can go all the way around and it lines up, okay? That means you've done something right. If it's a little bit out, as long as that circle's round, that distance doesn't change. When you're going around, everything should be perfect. If you find a few bricks a little bit out, just that they may have moved, but this is looking pretty good. And again, and when you're laying the bricks over there, if you use that every time, you'll get a perfect circle, okay? Um, and that's all she is, okay? So here's a close-up of it. All right, so it was just a square piece of laminate. I've cut it in half, because to get this around the tree, we're gonna have to undo just these two screws. It'll pull apart. We'll stake it in place, screw it back together. A Couple of long bolts, just driven all the way through, and we just make sure that that's flat all the way around. Okay, so you can have a bit of a look. Get a bit of scrap wood. And same with that. Same with that. Again, I've just put two pieces just to give it a bit more support to keep these straight. Pop the dowels in. This one I've glued in. This one I've adjusted in case I want to adjust for the height. Okay. And this was the outer edge of the paper, which I went around first. And then that's going to be the inner edge. All right, let's hope, let's hope it works. All right, guys, so we're just going to take a couple of screws off. Okay. Then that comes apart. goes back and we can put it together. So now those screws will go back in exactly the right place. Beautiful. Nice and simple. And then now, again, we get this, we work out roughly where the center is, okay? Now this, depending on where the roots are, this is where it could be a bit challenging. Um, or you may need a bit of a mallet. So let's go get the mallet. quite right from there but when you go around you'll see it's pretty much perfectly in the center all right it was worth the effort it's gonna make a big difference it was worth the effort it's gonna make a big difference to the whole thing 
All right, next steps. So we know the center's level. You can pop that on there. And again. Put a bit of sand up against the edge. guys so that's it that is a perfect circle so what we'll do is we still don't have the levels right so we still don't have their levels right so what we'll do is now is we'll make up some concrete pour some concrete around it um, and then start to lift that up into the correct place now you'll see the outer circle isn't quite right because that's because I used the string line so we can trim that up a little bit later all right, let's go mix some concrete and come back. All right, guys, so the weather starts to turn a little bit. Let's hope we can get uh, the, this done. We'll just do just one bag at a time, a quick set. Mix another bag. All right guys, so there's enough there to keep that outer edge set in place. So let's now go through and just check everything. Get this plastic edge. Level. All right, guys. Now, being level is one thing, but this grass ain't quite level, so we have, may have to make some, uh, you know, compromises. All right. Now, what I did was I designed this so it could be pushed through. So let's try and work out um, a level and see what happens. All right, so that's perfectly level. Now let's go check. And don't forget, you're putting a brick on top of that. Let's go get a brick. So that's going to be the level in relation to the grass like so, which I'm happy with, yep. So, that's level. So I'm gonna move this a fraction, that's it. All right, so that's dead level. So now that's hopefully the highest point, and let's go around now and either pull this edge up or drop it down accordingly. Alright, so 
that's it. Whew. All right, guys, so that's perfectly in the center. It's a circle, okay? Uh, the levels are right, okay? Now, one thing I've noticed is the grass here is a bit low. So we'll have to um, potentially build up this area at a later stage. But otherwise, that's looking good. All right, starting to rain now, so we'll let that set and come back. All right, guys, let's take a closer look before the rain cuts in. Now, I'm not finishing off that concrete in any way, and that's actually quick set concrete, not more, not more the mix, okay? So all I'm doing is just getting something in there to hold the ring, to hold the ring in the right place. That's gonna set, it doesn't need to be level or anything like that, because what we're gonna do is use the mortar mix with the um, pavers to get everything absolutely right. So what you can do now, you can actually fill the center with dirt just to push out to the concrete and yeah we'll come back and again don't be a hundred percent concerned if that ring isn't dead dead straight because later on when you're doing the more the mix the more that doesn't quite set quickly and if you haven't got the circle exactly perfect when you're laying the pavers you will be able to make some adjustments all right i think i'll see you tomorrow it's about to start raining. All right, guys, so we're back. We've had a bit of a reprieve from the rain. So now, let's um, mix up some more of the mix. All right, let's go get the papers and get started. This won't take long now. All right, guys. So all we're gonna need now is a mallet and our little spirit level. And we'll see how many bags of um, more than mix we need. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, so let's load up some cement. And we're gonna basically put, we're gonna go above the plastic edge. Now this is going to get sit just in front of it, okay? And we're going to pop our little spirit level on. Now this isn't quick set, so you've got a bit more time to play with the mortar. All right, so things are a little bit tight here with the grass. Oh 
Alright guys, so she's all done. Again, it took uh, a couple of uh, weekends, but uh, she's come up pretty good. Um, the circle itself was probably quite the most challenging part, but um, at the end of the day, and again, having the tree there made it a little bit difficult. If you didn't have a tree there, it'd probably be a bit, a bit easier. But I'm really happy sort of how it all um, panned out. Um, and, and again, I'll just top that up with a bit more bark. Next part in the process is, is here, the grass. It actually dips off a bit here. The rest all over that side is all quite level. So um, do a bit of research now on how we build up this area uh, with a bit of topsoil to help it all sort of grow through and re-level. Uh, again, <laughs> if you've got any ideas for me, drop them down in the comments. Otherwise, I'm sure you'll see a future video <laughs> with um, basically uh, this all brought up to level. Um, and yeah, um, cool. All right, hope you enjoyed that and got a bit out of it. Any questions or whatever, drop it down in the comments. Um, again, if you like what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up. And um, yeah, uh, if you like the channel, subscribe. Uh, share it around if you want. And I might see you in the next video. All right, see you guys. Bye.